Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dylan. I hope everyone's having a good day. And today I'm looking at the Belle Ultimate Princess Designer Doll. So this collection is based on the Ultimate Princess Celebration. And it includes all the princesses basically dressed up in Met Gala-like outfits. So for more explanation of that and just a general introduction to this series, please check out the Snow White review that will be listed in the same playlist as this video. I will include a link in the description below. So furthermore, today we'll be looking at Belle. We'll look at the doll, the artwork, and this beautiful pin that went along with it. So stay tuned. Belle's box is gold. And I think this is an homage back to her golden ball gown. Even though in this dress, she has more red than gold, but there's still some in there. But I think that that's what this must allude to. So Belle's motif in this line is a book with a rose on it. So that's very touching that they included Belle's love for books, but also the beast's rose. So right away, we see this beautiful golden box. There's dark shadowing around it to give it that designer effect. Here's those beautiful books with a rose. There's also a rose here in the shadows, sort of. And here it says Disney Designer Collection. As we move down, there's also some petals and things that are kind of falling there. And that must allude to the Beast Rose. Down here it says Belle, one of 9,800. So 9,800 of her. Here we have the back of Belle's box. The gold is continued and here we have more roses with beautiful petals, leaves, there's a stem there. And this doll was designed by Heidi Ticehurst. She is a toy designer for the Walt Disney Company. And here it has a description of her inspiration for the doll. You can check that out here by pausing if you'd like to read it. It's in several different languages. But Heidi talks about being inspired by roses, by flowers, and also by Belle's determination and selflessness to trade her place for her father in the beginning of the film, whenever she arrives at the Beast Castle. So she talks about how that inspired her to make this beautiful rose-inspired Belle doll. <laughs> Here on the side, it says Belle in gold and has a diamond tiara above it. Down there, we have product information and the price tag which this cost $129 on Shop Disney, or if you were somewhere in person to buy her. Princess Belle is displayed in a beautiful display window, just as all the other dolls. On her plastic, there's a golden chandelier here, which must represent the beast chandelier in his castle in the ballroom. There's also some diamonds down here. And within the little diamonds, there is that storybook with a rose on the storybook. Over here is another picture of Heidi, and there is a shot of the Beast stained glass window in his castle with a yellowish tint over it. And this is where I will show you the full artwork that Heidi came up with for this doll. It's very beautiful, and that will give you an idea of her inspiration right before we look at the doll. Over here is the Certificate of Authenticity. So Belle being in red was a very big change as Belle is usually portrayed in yellow. But sometimes we forget that Belle was in a dress for her Enchanted Christmas movie in red for a very short scene. So Belle in red and roses have always kind of been intertwined. So this truly wasn't all that um, shocking whenever she was revealed. So Belle in red is actually something that maybe fans have asked for. So Belle has her hair up in a very beautiful bun and around her head there is a molded, looks like headband almost, and on the headband there is a rose detail there. She has red tassel earrings and this is the current Belle face sculpt from the Disney store. She has red eyeshadow, red uh, lips, and also some rosy cheeks to go with that rose theme. As we move down, we can see these beautiful red gloves and red bodice and also flower petal waist. So the flower petals on her waist actually look like rose petals or maybe like if you were at a craft store 
and you were buying rose petals. So it looks like that was just kind of added to the doll to make her look even more like a flower. Belle's bodice here has beautiful golden rose embroideries. And this continues throughout the doll, but that is all used with gold stitching and thread. Moving down, her skirt is made out of a see-through mesh material, but then underneath is the real skirt that has this beautiful embroidery. And as you can see, that beautiful golden um, rose embroidery goes all the way down. And on the outside, it almost looks glassy, but I think what this is supposed to inspire is the bell glass that is over the rose. So you know how in the movie, the glass is covering up the rose. So maybe her skirt is an homage to that. And as like on the beast's rose, all of the petals kind of bunch up at the bottom when they fall. So that's maybe where this comes from or why Belle has all of these petals surrounding her. So there's that brighter red in the center, that darker red around, and those beautiful golden rose embroideries. So there's little gems on the mesh, and actually there's just these beautiful like red ruchings around the doll that, like I said, make it look like rose petals have bunched up around her. She also has a purse, which is a book, uh, well, a metal book, maybe a metal book like clutch, and it has a rose on it. Actually, this is probably like the fifth or sixth one of these that I got from the Disney store because whenever she first came out, they kept coming extremely damaged. So it was just really frustrating, but eventually I got this one from Shop Disney and it seems to be in the best shape that it could come in. So yeah, it was just a very annoying process. Here is Heidi's pin for Belle. And we can see there it has a beautiful golden background and it has an image of Belle wearing this red rosy dress. And it doesn't seem to have too much of a difference between the actual doll. Although the Belle doll actually has her hair up instead of really behind her. So I wonder if that was a deviation or was that the idea all along? It says ultimate princess celebration and it has a little book there as the motif. But excellent job, Heidi, as I feel like you have represented a rose with Belle the best you can. I also want to comment on this beautiful background because normally Belle is seen in her ballroom, but I love that they use the castle balcony here. It really makes a big contrast between the red and the blue. All right, everybody. Thank you for looking at this beautiful Belle doll with me. Let me know what you think of her. I think she is so beautiful. Something that I've thought about, though, is if they would have switched the yellow and the red. That is, have yellow rose petals and then have red embroidery on it. And I wonder just if that would be more recognizable as Belle to fans. So, well, let me know what you think. And of course, if you're not following me or subscribed to my channel, please do that now, as then you can keep up with all of my posts and all of my videos. <laughs> all right, everybody, have a magical day. I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.